Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Steve, and welcome to Monday Madness, where today we will be discussing the Disney dining plan and my reservations that we have coming up in our next trip. So the first thing, though, before we get started on that, we want to uh, put this on mute so I can't hear both of them. There we go. So I want to thank Dean at the Live Place, www.theliveplace.com. Um, he is Dean from Dreamers Empire. Go check him out, guys. He hosts our show along with uh, at least 45 other shows for all your family-friendly streaming. Please go check out theliveplace.com. Check out my partner channel, Mouse Talk. They go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 o'clock, and they also go live with me on Sports Night on Saturday nights at 8 o'clock. He is getting close. I believe he's 76 away from 1,500, and if they get that, Walt will ride uh, Tower of Terror with us in August, and he is terrified. So let's get him to 1,500. And my other partner, Rob Fuzz, who I saw is here. How you doing, buddy? Um, Rob Fuzz is only six away from 1,900, guys. He's on his road to 2,000. Let's uh, help Rob out. If you're not subbed to Rob, please go over and see him. Let's at least get him to 1,900, and then he can start his path to two grand as well. Rob goes live on Fridays, generally at 4.30, uh, every other Friday with uh, usually either Frankie Friday and then Pub Talk, and he pops up sporadically everywhere. So, Also, my power channels, the Shep family, Zippity Doodad, and Brandy and Dave who the four of us have started a new journey together, and we are not even sure what we're calling it, but for now, it's whatever this is. Um, it rotates between our channels. We did episode one last Thursday on the Shep family. This Wednesday on Zippity Doodad's channel, we will be discussing all things Boardwalk and uh, the restaurants and the shops there, so please come check us out at 9.30 on, fr on Wednesday on Zippity Doodad's channel. I'll remind you at the end. So we also have our 1,000 sub giveaway. Guys, I have been extremely lazy, not been even close to being ready. It's been a rough week. Um, so I will get that video out, though. I do promise. Keep an eye out for that this week. We'll get it out and um, and have run that giveaway for our 1,000 subscribers. I appreciate everybody and everything that you've done for us. So now let's see. We got the chat. Rob Fuzz, of course. Thank you so much, Rob. I appreciate you being here. Pepper Tree Villa, thank you guys for being here. Uh, Pepper Tree was on Jeff Dole Whip Dad's uh, Diz Tube last night. If you didn't go, if you didn't catch that, please go check them out on uh, Dole Whip Dad's channel. Juan Rodriguez, how are you, buddy? Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Lisa and I am buffering for some reason. There, maybe there we go. Lisa, thank you for being here. I appreciate you very, very much, guys. I got a lot of chat to catch up on here. Uh, give me one second here. Uh, let's see here. Star Wars Lane was so amazing. Nice one. Uh, Pepper Tree Villa said hi to you guys. Mickey's Magic. Meg, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Meg, unfortunately, will have to go back to school soon, so hopefully it doesn't interfere with her streaming times so that she can catch a lot of the different shows. Noah, thank you so much for being here, buddy. Uh, Donna Jaworski, thank you so much for being here. And there's Zippity Doodad. Patrick, how are you, my friend? Uh, let's see. Dougie, it is getting late there. Dougie from Waltergrams. Uh, thank you so much for being here, Dougie. <clears throat> we are going to talk about food today, so it's going to be a fun day. AJC Magic TV, thank you so much for being here. Um, Charlie and Stacy from Disney Nerd Herders, thank you so much, guys, for being here. I think I'm getting caught back up here. Maybe not, but we'll see. Oh, the chat just jumps. That's usually a good sign. Uh, Cam's Corner, I'm the number one Disney fan out there. Thank you so much for being here. Part of Rose's World is here. Uh, Michael Riley, thank you so much. I do play Fortnite, Michael. Um, part of Rosa's world, uh, you guys, if you haven't caught her, she goes live after me usually at nine o'clock. Rosa, I don't. If you're going live, you can say so in the chat. But she goes live after me at nine o'clock. Uh, who else do we have here? It just jumped again. Perfectly, Cat. Thank you so much for being here, guys. If I miss your comments lately, we've been getting a lot of people in here, which I really, really appreciate. If I miss your comments, please repost. We will get back to them as soon as possible. Jack Sandy Claus Logan, thank you so much for being here. Jelly's Journeys. Uh, Meg, I think I saw you put one of my dates in August. We are going from the 21st of August to September 1st. Um, I might actually try to extend that. I don't know if I'm going to or not, but I might actually try to extend that still. Play with <clears throat> Okay, will do, Michael. I'll get you after the stream, buddy. Um, so... What I've got is, so we, we started out with our dining reservations. 
did them all. Your friendly otaku. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you for being here. So we start out with our dining reservations. <clears throat> and when I was just reviewing them today for this purpose, I realized that I still need to book two more. <laughs> so since I'm staying for so many nights, we have a lot of reservations booked, but I had a couple that fell through and we're automatically having the one on Galaxy's Edge Day fall through, which is a whole other story we'll get to in just a minute. So I now have two more to book. So we're going to go through what I got here and then take some ideas. And, and if anybody has any suggestions, we will definitely uh, take a look at them. So thank you all for being here again. I'll, I will try to keep track. Uh, I got you, Michael. Thank you. Uh, I'll try to keep track of the chat as well. So if I miss you, don't don't uh, fret. Just let me know that you're here. So first thing I do, guys, I wanted to show you is every trip I go on, I create one of these nice little books. So this book is basically the lifeblood of what my family does for food. And um, this is just our food book. So when we go on a trip, this is what we create. And basically what this book has is when you open it up, it has all of our reservations in it. It has the dining plan so that we know what reservations are in there, along with uh, it tells the dining plan, how it works. It'll also list all the participating dining plan reservations. So it has the quick service ones and the, the table service ones so that we, if we're, especially when we're looking for a quick service restaurant, we can pull it up real quick. And then it's color coded basically to each day that we're going to be there. Tells what we're doing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'll be honest with you. We very, very rarely ever eat breakfast at Disney World uh, as a plan. We usually will eat Bomas or something special, but very rarely we will do it. So, um, but then anyways, once you get in here and you see what we have, then it opens up and it's got from the My Disney Experience, the page that we're going to, along with every menu that we have and the pictures of the restaurant so that we can see. And we do that for our whole trip. So I haven't got that far yet because we're missing some. Um, I saw some comments here. Let me go back and check it out. Yes, that book. I love that book. Thank you, Charlie and Stacy. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you, Jelly. Everyone, Steve, do you have a template for that? No, I don't. That is a um, that is a printable. I put it all together. I print out menus, which is what I've done here, and then I go through and I take all the the the. I do a word documents, print them out on colored cardstock, create the pictures myself. Um, and then I have a binding machine and I put it all together. So that's how we do that. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I am. I try to be fancy. <laughs> Just like be organized. Thanks so much, Zip. I appreciate it, buddy. Steve, you're so organized. It blows my mind. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Dougie, I, I try. I have spreadsheets galore, man. I like to be organized and have a plan. Uh, let's see. I use an index card and pray I don't lose it. <laughs> that's awesome, cat. Um, I use my head to plan. It always changes. It does, Meg. We like to have a plan that we usually stick with our reservations. So uh, it's just a handy guide just for, to remember what we do. Uh, why haven't you written a planning book? Meg and I should get together and do planning a planning book, and we should we should uh, open our own planning service. It would uh, we, it would be very fun for us, and we would uh, we'd help some people out. I think along the way. Okay, the Prince Network. Hey, Prince Network, how are you, buddy? Thank you so much for being here. Samantha, thank you so much for being here. Haley Raven, how are you? Good to see you guys. Sorry, guys, that the chat jumps again. I'm I'm trying to catch up. Um, I, Donna used to use spreadsheets when she did her trips. She's such a planner. I agree, Donna. Steve, my wife, will be going on Google Hangouts to talk to you ASAP. She's in love with that book. No problem, Patrick. Um... Okay, guys, I think we're caught up. So realistically, though, that book is not really that difficult. It's I know the information I need and I know the information I want in that book to go along with everything. So it's just something I already know. And this is probably, to be honest, this is probably the 10th one I've done. So it gets easier as you go. It, it just really, it really does. So we're going to go over some of my dining reservations that I have. First off, we'll go over the dining plan. Um, the dining plan is a lot of people like it. A lot of people don't like it. So there's couple different dining plans you can get. You can get the quick service dining plan, which is two quick service meals. You can get the Disney dining plan, which is a quick service meal and a table service meal. And you can get the premium one, which is just three meals a day, whether they be sit down or uh, uh, quick service. And you get those for each night you're staying. Along with that, you also get some snacks. So basically, and they just recently changed it to where you could actually get 
an, an alcoholic beverage with your dinners too, your sit down menus. So what you get now is you get an entree, um, you get an alcoholic beverage and you get a dessert. So that's what you get that comes with it. You also get two snacks per day for the dining plan. So I love it. If some people say they can save money and you probably could save money not using it, but I love it because it, I pay for it ahead of time and I don't have to worry about money when I'm down there. So even if it costs me a little bit, little bit it, extra, it's well worth it for me. Um, just for the way we do things. Okay. Um, I was going to hang out with YouTube. Uh, Prince Network, I'll have to tell you some other time, buddy. It takes it takes a while. Uh, it's just, it's a Google app and you go to live streaming and it's an option on there. Haley will do the artwork for our book. That is awesome. Uh, I'd like to sign copies, please, Dougie says. <laughs> for bad budgeting people like me, Dining Plan is awesome. Yes, Dining Plan is really awesome because... Again, quick service meal, you get one quick service meal, you can go anywhere you want and just go to the quick service meal. And then you get a sit down restaurant as well. And we're gonna go over something. When you get there, you don't have to worry about picking on the entree that costs only $10 versus the one that costs $40 because if you have the dining plan, you can pick whatever you want off the entree as long as it's part of the dining plan. Hey, Amanda, the lucky man, thank you so much for being here, I appreciate you. Okay, so the first restaurant we're gonna be, well, these aren't in order. Um, realistically, they're just in alphabetical order, so. Uh, how should we do the art? Yes, I like the dining plan, but I'll only take it when it's free dining. So that, I'm glad you brought that up, D Dougie, because that's one of the other reasons why um, I'm doing something a little different this time. Hey, MKC Madera, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Um, we actually, I actually got free dining this time, and they have certain restaurants or certain hotels that have limited numbers, and then they have the tier ups that get better. But I actually wound up uh, getting it at the All Stars and. It, I had the free quick service dining plan and then you can upgrade it. It's like $52 a night for the quick service one. And it's like 70 bucks, I think for the, the next one up. So I just had to pay the difference to be able to get one sit down and one a table service. I mean, uh, one quick service, one table service. So the first restaurant that we are going to be eating at um, in no order is we're eating lunch at the BR guest restaurant. A lot of people don't realize that uh, that's a quick service meal. They've changed the dinner reservations the way they are. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm actually pretty nervous about it. Uh, hey, Tavi Smith, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. RVing to Disney. Hello. How are you? Miguel Benitez, you're driving, so I can't chat. Please drive safe, Miguel. We're talking about food, so it's still pretty good. Jim, with more sunshine, please. Thank you so much for being here, buddy. I appreciate it. Okay, so we're eating at Be Our Guest Restaurant for lunch one day. I like going here because you can still experience everything there is to experience in the in the uh, Beast Castle. I don't think you get to meet the Beast, but you can also go ahead and do reservations too. So you don't risk not getting in and it counts as a quick service meal. So you can use a quick service table credit instead, or a quick service credit instead of a table service credit to go to lunch at Be Our Guest Restaurant. Cargo! Well, how did you, I got lobster fried? Yeah, I got a little sun. I was painting some eaves in my house on the outside of my house. So I got a little, uh, got a little sun. It's okay. I generally don't burn. I, I get, I am dark complected. Um, sometimes I burn the very first time and then I'm okay. So rock and roll, rock and roll. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. Okay. So some of the things that you can get at be our guest restaurant, um, you can get soups, which I'm not a fan of. You can get French onion soup, potato leek soup, entrees. You get braised pork, uh, the French dip sandwich. <laughs> I, I was watching Young Shell the other day, and they pronounced this croque monster. It's croque, croque monsieur. I can't remember how to say it, but vegetable quiche, quinoa salad, tuna nicoise salad, carved turkey sandwich, French onion dip, or potato leek soup. So you get to pick one entree. I go with the French dip sandwich because I think it's incredible. Um, it's basically, it comes with au jus dipping sauce. And, and please, everybody in the chat, please go ahead and type in what you like about the restaurants. If you've been there, I am open to other suggestions. If you, I am a picky eater, but I would like to know what everybody else likes. But uh, for me, it's the French dip sandwich. And then of course they have desserts. They have the gray stuff there. It's a uh, pretty, <laughs> you need to help me. I watched young Sheldon. It's called a croak monster. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's the best I could do. So <laughs> Um, but the desserts, you have the gray stuff. 
They bring you out a, a cart. They wheel them out all the desserts out on a cart, and you get to pick which one you want. They have several different ones. They used to anyways at, at, uh, at lunch anyways. I don't know if they still do or not. I've not been there. Bright suns, everyone. Hey, Melissa, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. Okay, and uh, basically you have triple chocolate cupcakes, cream puffs. The Eclair Al Orange is really good. I've had that. You get the Master's Cupcake, which is a cupcake with gray stuff on it. Strawberry cream cheese cupcakes, lemon meringue cupcakes, and lemon raspberry cream puffs. So all that's pretty good. If you're wondering kind of what the pricing is for what I get anyways, the uh, this is a quick service meal. The, the French dip sandwich is $17.49. You also get a, a drink with it and a dessert. And the dessert for me is roughly, they're roughly all about $5. So it's about $23, $24 for the meal for that one, for Be Our Guest. Um, I've actually got the kids grilled cheese and tomato soup and cupcake with the gray stuff. Nice, AJC. Uh, mouse talk. You say hi to Melissa, but you don't say hi to me. I'm hurt. Buddy, I didn't see you. Sorry. I see you now. Everybody say hi to Mouse Talk, my partner channel. We don't want him feeling neglected. Everybody, please go subscribe to him so that he can ride Tower of Terror with me in August. It would make my day. Uh, I got the Burn Bombs Guide for Disney World. Oh, uh, nice RV. Do you like it? Uh, that is, uh, it is an incredible book. I love that book. If nothing else, it's good to look at and just kind of see what it entails. And it kind of just brings back Disney memories, seeing the pictures and the, uh, the planning. So... And I don't have the new one yet, so I just, I'm just i curious to make sure that it's still as good as I remember it. So Steve's got a nice tan going. I, I, I got some sun, Melissa. Thank you. Hey, Lorena Zapata. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, okay, guys. So the next one we're eating at, which is, again, not in any particular order. They're all in alphabetical. Walt hates this restaurant, but I am eating at Boma's Flavors of Africa. Walt hates anything that begins with a B. So. Boma's is in the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Kana's World, hey, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. Christy's Corner, thank you so much for being here. Um, Boma's is an African-style restaurant. It's in the Animal Kingdom Lodge. Um, it's They have an incredible breakfast, but we're, that's not true. I liked Boma. I'm just giving you a hard time, Walt, for his bracketology. Um, but Boma's is a African-inspired cuisine and they, it is a buffet. So, and I like food. I'm going to eat a lot of buffets just because I can go get basically what I want and as much of it as I want. Um, Boma is amazing. How dare he? I know he, he, uh, he was very mean to it one night. Um, so basically they have a whole slew of different soups and stews on the buffet. I'm not going to go through them all here. They do have a couple, um, interesting ones. They have a carrot ginger soup. They have a coconut chicken curry soup. And a lot of, again, is African themed. Um, they have a lot of salads, a watermelon rind salad, uh, roasted turkey salad, Tunisian couscous salad. But they have a bunch of them. So they, they basically have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. They have 13 soups and stews. They have 10 different salads. I'm sorry, 14 different salads. Then the entrees that they have, they have, I can't even pronounce half of these. Uh, you guys are killing me. <laughs> Crack smashed white potatoes. Uh, since buffet starts with a B. Oh, that's true, Melissa. I didn't even think about that. Walt doesn't like buffets. Uh, Walt, I am going to, uh, I do all dinners. So there's very rare that I'll do a lunch. I'm doing lunch for Be Our Guest because it's a quick service. But most of the time it'll be all dinners. I usually do my quick services at lunch. And then, um, then if I eat breakfast, that's a rarity. So this will be also for... Um, dinner as well. Uh, Dem mashed sweet potatoes. <laughs> the phone. <laughs> I was wondering what democratic potatoes were. Okay. It seems like everybody else was. Hey, Saul, you're in the middle. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Walt must hate Bolt Disney World. <laughs> oh, man. We actually did breakfast for be our guest and really enjoyed it. We were worried. Good, Walt. That is nice to know because, like I said, I don't generally eat breakfast, but I do. I am. I'm full, but I've got two more that I need to book, and uh, I might do a breakfast just to kind of see what one of them is like, and that might be a good one to do. Uh, some of the other entrees, though, they have the. I really like the spice crusted beef sirloin. They have a uh, roasted turkey. They have boba tea, which 
I've still never brought myself to try. Um, I'm going to let Dan can, and not Walt because Walt's as picky as I am, but I'm going to let Dan convince me to eat a lot of things here coming up for our trip in August. And, um, I'm going to try to film a lot of the reactions because I have a feeling I know what they're going to taste like and what my reaction is going to be, but we'll see. Um, they also have something called foo-foo, which I'm not sure what that is, and pork shoulder and salmon and pork ribs. It's it's a really good restaurant. Highly, highly recommend this. Uh, Beer Guest was surprisingly good. Melissa and I both loved what we got. Nice. I've not tried the new Beer Guest dinner either, Dougie. Um, it's going to be interesting. And we'll get to something where I was going to try a very similar meal to that, but we changed it because of Galaxy's Edge, and we'll get to that in a minute. They also have a lot of different sides, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, peanut rice, coconut rice, et cetera. And then they have an assortment of um, desserts, which desserts are my favorite thing next to the meat, if you guys haven't been able to figure that out yet. Key lime cheesecake, apple cobbler, Kenyan coffee tarts. I'm not a coffee guy, so I don't eat those. Zebra domes, guava panna cotta, assorted cookies and brownies, and bread pudding. So... Then, with, again, with each sit-down meal, you get one alcoholic beverage, too. So um, you can either choose a uh, soft drink or an alcoholic beverage. That is something new they did. I think they started that last year. So, But that is Boma's. Um, yes, Boma's. One of the next restaurants I am eating at. I feel like our group of friends is always talking about food. Uh, where am I eating on the 28th? We'll get to that in a minute, Walt. Anyone uh, do Tokyo dining? I've never been to the Tokyo, so um, unfortunately, I haven't done that yet. Uh, let's see who else. Do you, I got that one. Feel, Rob, it is a fixed menu. Yeah, yes. Be our guest is a fixed menu now. Prefix menu, I guess they call it. You you sit down. They bring you a set number of appetite or set choice of appetizers, and then I think you can choose between a uh, entree, but everything's preset, prefixed. Uh, what else we got here? Rob yes, and it doesn't look that good. I agree. I don't think it's that. I'm not, I don't know if it's not that good or if I'm not just not that adventurous to try it. Walt, um, I love the zebra domes. Zebra domes are pretty good, Donna. Um, I can pop a lot of those. It's Joey's World. Joey's World is here. Thank you so much for joining us, buddy. We appreciate it. Okay, one of the next ones, and I forgot to tell you guys, I'm eating in a lot of restaurants. I'm getting adventurous now for me. I mean, in a lot of restaurants I've never been to. I've, I've been to several on Disney property. I picked more than half of the ones I'm going to this year I've never been to. Got to go to some of my favorites like Boma. I've, I've, I've just got to do that one, so we're going there. But this next one is a restaurant that I've never been to, and that is the Diamond Horseshoe. I've gone in there a lot. It looks really good. It smells really good. I've seen videos. It looks really good. So, But this is an all-you-care-to-enjoy feast. So basically, it's kind of like family style. They bring you out this big pot, and it's got just full of stuff. And basically, you eat what you want, as much of it you want. And when you when you get done and you want some more of something else, you just say, hey, I would like some more of that, please. So what comes with this? And this is, we leave on 823 and are there till 9-1. That's about, yeah, I'm just there a couple more days than you are, Walt. Uh, sorry. Chef, what's up, buddy? And Chris with Disney World Adventures, thank you guys for being here. Appreciate you. All right, so the Diamond Horseshoe is something that is going to be new to me. Um, but here's what it comes with, and I love most of this stuff, so it's going to be incredible. We have the carved beef brisket, which is one of my favorite meats, uh, smoked sausage, citrus marinated chicken, barbecued pulled pork. I will eat every bit of that meat. It's so good. I'll, that's I, I'm a meat eater and a dessert eater, and I'll eat the other stuff in between. But... Uh, those are my two things. That meat is incredible. Thanks, Zip. I appreciate that, buddy. Um, macaroni and cheese, baked beans, seasonal vegetables, mashed potatoes, smoked chocolate cake, graham cracker, buttercream, and toasted marshmallows. And again, that is an all-you-care-to-eat family-style buffet. They bring you the food to you, uh, and you just ask for more of what you want. So there are specialty drinks and, again, alcoholic beverages that you can get as well. And you get one drink. If you get soda or something that comes with free refills, you can refill them. If you get uh, alcohol, it's non-refillable. Okay. Those wacky American backward dates. Um, yeah, Dougie, I studied Germany or German for eight years, so I know what you mean about the dates. It's always the day, then the month. But uh, not here. We do things the right way. Sorry, just kidding. Uh, Steve, what about Liberty Tree Tavern? Um, it might be on the list. Well, we'll get to it. 
Uh, hey, Isaac, how are you, buddy? Thank you so much for being here. All right, guys, so next up uh, is one that's on my list that has been removed from my list, and now I'm trying to think if I want to put this one back on my list. So I thought we'd talk about it because it's another one I've never been to, and everybody talks about how great it is, and that's the Garden Grill Restaurant over at the Land Pavilion in Epcot. So I have never been here, never eaten here at all. Um, the menus in the past just have not seemed that appealing to me, but I've seen some of the, uh, I'm to let you know, I have my Xbox name. Oh, thanks, Michael. I appreciate that, buddy. Um, I've never eaten here and I've, but I've seen a lot of videos of this food. Yes, I know. Everybody keeps telling me I got to do garden grill. Do you want to say, Hey D, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. Um, <laughs> sorry, Dougie. Uh, so I've never eaten this because it just didn't appeal to me that much. Holy cow. Uh, just saw your giant Tsum Tsums. Yes, Charlie and Stacy. I got some big ones back there. Garden Grill is the best food we've had in Disney for the last... Oh, wow. That's awesome, Sawyer. Uh, Steve, I ate there for my birthday once. Really enjoyed it. Uh, Cargo's back. Cargo loves the Garden Grill as well. Cinnamon Roll is to die for. I think I actually saw you guys eat that, uh, Haley. I saw yours and Corey's dining review there for, I think it's for breakfast when you had the cinnamon roll. Everything looked good. I'm actually eating there for dinner. Um, and it's it's another one of those feasts where you just get what you want and they keep bringing it to you. The, the platform rotates. So you can eventually come around to the window or the overlook where you can see the living with the land, the boat ride. So it kind of moves over there. Uh, we have that picky eater in our house. And we all love the garden grill. That's awesome because I'm I'm as picky as it gets. I love cheese, love hamburgers. Will not eat cheese on a hamburger. I think it's gross. But um, I love both foods. I just don't like a lot of foods mixed together. The cinnamon rolls are illegal. <laughs> they that good, huh? I'm gonna have to get me a cinnamon roll. Nothing else. I'm gonna try to eat some uh, some sn snacky uh, breakfast. Snacky breakfasts. Does that make sense? So I'll go get a cinnamon roll for breakfast one day just to go, but not part of my dining plan. So the Garden Grill has all everything is made at the the Epcot or uh, on the on the uh, Disney World property. So they have Harvest Inspired Garden Salad, all natural sliced turkey breast, the Urban Leek stuffing, macaroni and cheese, berry shortcake. Uh, they have a grilled beef with chim chim chimichurri, chim chimichurri, chimichurri. I don't know what that is. Sorry. Uh, yes, get the booth for sure. Awesome. Steve, I have. Oh, thanks, Michael. Um, seasonal vegetables, creamy mashed potatoes, French fries, and then they have a, a slew of other stuff. See, that just to me, that that just didn't sound all that appealing. But every time I see it on, on reviews, it looks incredible. So I'm going to try it. That is the Garden Grill Restaurant. And Chip and Dale come out and talk to you. I'm not sure who else it is. Uh, I say on the 22nd, you skip the healthy traditional breakfast and come to the boardwalk for my favorite cupcake. Uh, car cargo cupcakes are breakfast, so I don't do healthy breakfast. Uh, we really enjoyed lunch at the Garden Grill as well. It's great food and the characters. So is the is lunch the same as dinner? Does it have the same stuff we just read off for lunch and dinner at the Garden Grill? Because I would be happy. There's a couple of nights instead of doing scheduled dinners, I want to. I might actually do a scheduled lunch because... I've got stuff going on or I'm, uh, we have the Halloween party one night that I don't really want to eat a big meal late at night. So if there, it's, if it's possible, um, I will probably eat uh, a lunch that day. So especially if that one's the same menu. All right. Another one that we've got, I've eaten here before, but never for breakfast. And we're not going to be eating here. Melissa says we are. I say we're not. Walt's undecided or at least I'm pretending he's undecided. I booked um, on the day of Gar Galaxy's Edge to assist us getting into the park. Lunch and dinner are the same at Garden Grill. That's awesome. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. Thank you, AJC. Um, I booked a breakfast at Hollywood and Vine, and it is the Disney Junior breakfast. And it's basically so that we had early reservations to try to get into Disney World or Hollywood Studios the day Galaxy's Edge opens. I am not going to lie to you. I have zero intention, zero of eating breakfast at uh, Hollywood and Vine. It is a backup plan for me to get into Hollywood Studios in the event something really crazy happens and people really are lining up two nights in advance. So I will get in, bypass it, and go straight to Galaxy's Edge. That's my plan. 
Um, but but Brandy and David, David, what's up, guys? Um, but I will bypass breakfast if I have to. It's if, if we can't get down, yeah, it is Disney Junior. Um, I can't remember the characters that are there, Walt, but it is a Disney Junior character meet and greet breakfast. It has an omelet station, pancakes and waffles, seasonal fresh fruit, fresh baked patri pastries, breakfast meats and potatoes, which means bacon, and I love bacon. And it has a children's breakfast buffet as well. So um, that is Hollywood and Vine. Again, no intentions of eating there, but you never know. If they tell me I can't get into Galaxy's Edge, I'll enjoy a nice breakfast with my friends. <clears throat> Next up is another brand new restaurant for me. Never been here. Was honestly extremely nervous to try this, but then I watched, again, watched reviews. Looks pretty good. We're going to try it. Uh, yeah, why bother with breakfast when you can just have chewy grill you a porg? <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Janine, thank you so much for being here, Janine. No problem. I appreciate it. Um, appreciate you stopping by, Janine. That, that means the world. Thank you so much. Okay, so the next one we're going to eat at, which I am very skeptical of, they do have something I think I would really like, actually, uh, and that is the Jungle Navigation Company's LTD Skipper Canteen. So it's the, I just called the Skipper Canteen. It's over at Magic Kingdom, over in Adventureland, I believe. Um, it's really different. It looks really different. Uh, the food seems to be really, really different. If anybody's eating there, let me know what you think. Hollywood and Vine, where my nephew shoved bacon in my mouth and said, eat it. <laughs> oh, you're a vegetarian. Oh, no. Uh, part of Rose's World, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Haley says, my fave. You talking about Skipper? Yeah. Actually, Haley, I took Skipper Canteen off of Corey's recommendation. Um, Corey has not steered me wrong yet. So I am going to continue to listen to him until, he, until he, something happens. So. Uh, Skipper's is a killer. Awesome. I hope you meant like killer good, not it'll kill you because it's so bad. Um, I don't eat fish, Noah. Seafood makes me violently ill. So um, even though I know Cape May Cafe, so many people love it. My parents, it's my parents' favorite restaurant. Every year we go, they go to Cape May Cafe. My niece and I go somewhere else and, and just kind of have a, a little separate dinner uh, we get, they go there every time. It's, it's probably the best seafood buffet that I know of. So, um, uh, but it will not be on my list when I'm not doing a solo trip. See, maybe we can get to get, get Hollywood and Vine to go and eat it on the people mover. Um, I, that's a deal, uh, mouse talk, except for that day is guardians of the galaxy. Maybe we can fly the millennium Falcon and eat it. I'd do that. Killer is an awesome, awesome Dave. Thank you very much. Okay, so the Jungle's uh, Skipper Canteen has a lot of different appetizers, which I'm not even going to pretend to uh, enjoy. It's most there's, – there's even one called Lost and Found Soup. Um, I don't do soups. I do salads, but not these salads that are on here. So – and then they have a bunch of, uh, of seafood and stuff like that. But here are the entrees, and this is, this is where I think I can find something I like. They have a Dr. Falls signature grilled steak. They have a curried vegetable crew stew, a whole fried fish, tastes like chicken because it is, hearty har char su suey pork, and sustainable fish. They have Perkins Thai noodles, Trader Lamb, Sankaru Sadie's seafood stew, and a lot of steak salad. So what this is, this is a play on the Jungle Cruise, which is right across, kind of across the street. You don't do any kind of soups. Unless I just don't like soup. I, I I like a lot of foods, but I don't like them when they're mixed together. Soups usually one of the, I just don't like soup. I don't like like I love lettuce. I love tomatoes. I love cheese. I love hamburgers. Cannot put it all in the same sandwich. It just drives me nuts. I don't like it. Um, so what I'm going to wind up getting though is and here's another one of those things where the dining plan could be advantageous to you or not. So if you were going to go do the dining plan, you get to pick one item. If you're going to pick the curried vegetable crew stew, you're going to get an $18 entree. That's what it's going to cost you. If you're going to get what I'm getting, which is the Dr. Phil's Dr. Falls Signature Grilled Steak, that's a $36 entree. So for twice the amount, of, I'm going to be getting twice the amount for the same credit service as somebody would be if they were getting the crew stew. So if you don't eat a lot of stuff like that, going back to the dining plan, it may or may not be worth it for you to get. For me, 
I like the stakes. That's how it's, you know, that I'm going to get my money's worth. And that steak is an adobo seasoned New York strip steak. It has a vegetable and chorizo, farofa, caramelized onion puree, and red wine reduction. Um, I'm going to, there was something else I watched somebody else get. I think it's some kind of potatoes. I really want to try those as well. So I'm going to try those and ask for them. For desserts, you have a kungaloo, kungaloosh coconut bar with pineapple, basil, compote, and vanilla cream. There's a Bertha's bon, Bong Lawn Cake, which is probably what I'm going to get. It's a mango lime sorbet with vanilla chiffon cake. And then they have a quick sand, which is jasmine rice pudding and mango sauce. So a lot of different choices over there. Um, only because I saw the review of the steak and I'm trusting Corey Fiasco. Um, I'm going to be going to this place uh, one day during my trip. Not sure what day yet. I actually haven't marked down. I just don't have them here with me. Okay. Oh, you guys, I got my geek Googles on and I can see you. <laughs> cargo. Okay. This is another place I've never been, which this one shocks me. Steve, where is this? Casey's Corner? <laughs> no, it's not at Casey's Corner. It's, uh, it's hidden in the jungle. So this is another place I've never eaten, which is shocking to me because I, the food, I, I actually looked at the, the um, menu, decided I didn't want it. Then I watched all the reviews and that's, oh, thanks, Christy. I appreciate that. And then the food list looks amazing. And I, this one I'm trusting Disney Dan on. And that is, I know it's sad to say, but I've never eaten at the Kona Cafe. So we are going to be going to the Kona Cafe um, they have sushi rolls, which you can get. I'm not a sushi guy because, again, I can't eat uh, seafood. They have specialty rolls. They have samplers, appetizers. They have burgers and sandwiches. They have a, a crispy cheddar burger, a Hawaiian-style Reuben, a big kahuna burger, and a turkey banh mi. They have some uh, tuna and noodle stuff. And Cargo loves tuna. Steve, did you just put the bow on the minion's head? Nope, it's been there. It's right there. That's a cargo bow on top of the Juan Rodriguez um, minion, Lego minion. So, yes, cargo. It is the, I think it's the Maribo. I, I'll look in a minute. But then they also have steaks. Now, the they have a steak for two, which I don't think you can get on the dining plan. The, it doesn't say yes or no on here, but I don't think you can. And that's the perfect porterhouse steak. It's $95, so I don't know. And, and some places in the past have let you do that. If it's on this entree, as long as it doesn't say 4-2 and it does not say 4-2, you can use a one-credit service meal on that steak, and it's $95. That is an 8-ounce tenderloin and a 14-ounce New York strip steak. So it also comes with roasted bone marrow, which I'm not really into, so... But that is a really big, big portion of uh, food. The other one that I have is a 20-ounce bone-in black Angus ribeye, a 14-ounce prime New York strip, a 10-ounce, they have a salmon steak, and then they have an Angus beef tenderloin. So just to kind of give you a comparison again, this is a one-table service credit meal. And the steak I'm going to get, I get the ribeye. It's $55 for the steak alone. It doesn't count the, the desserts and everything else. $55 for the steak alone. My dining plan only cost me $70 a night. I'm easily, when I, by the time I add my dessert in and two snacks and a drink and my quick service meal, I'm easily going to crush that $70, $72, whatever it is, just in this one meal. I highly, again, it depends on how you eat. Now, if you were going to go the other route, you can get the salmon steak. That's only 28 bucks. You're obviously not getting as, as good of a value. Um, but if you do it the right way, the way I call it the right way, it, it's definitely worth it for me. Yoda is looking sharp in his cargo ears. Yes, he is. These are the cargo up ears right here. Yoda likes them. He has not taken them off since I put them on him. And then, of course, um, they, they do have a lot of coconut. It's in the Polynesian. They have a lot of coconut things, too. But they do have a key lime pie. These are all dessert glasses. They, they come in like a glass, and they mix the things up to make it taste like it. You're killing us. Now we want to book more dining. I know. And Charlie, the best part is when I'm done, I get to book two more because I'm too short. I don't know how that happened, but I got two more to book. Yes, I agree, Amanda. If for nothing else, guys, if you're if you're going to nickel and dime everything to try to get where you need to be, the dining plan is just convenient. It's worth so much money just for convenience that 
and the fact that it's paid for before you go. You don't have to worry about carrying your money with you and going, okay, we have this much more money left for the rest of the trip, blah, 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 blah. It's paid for. Your food is paid for. The only thing that's not paid for on that is your gratuity. So, um, but everything else is taken care of. That's why I love it so much because you, you can pay it. If you do the payment plan, you know, you start paying your payments, you can make payments on it and then you get there and you're done. I love key lime pie. Melissa, I love key lime pie as well. I actually had a piece of it tonight. So a uh, key lime pie is awesome. Please check out Yoda doing the robot. Oh, thanks. Zip. Yes, Yoda does the robot on my TikTok. I think you should leave one open for our day and see what we can wing. Uh, um, I am adventurous, Cargo. We can. Uh, that is one day that I actually have something or I was going to schedule something. That's the reason why I asked you what our plans were earlier because um, I need to put something on that day and I just don't know what to do. So I will leave that one of them open for that day. I've uh, been going to Disney World for several years now. Never done the dining plan. Is it good for Sawyer in the middle? I think it's fantastic, especially for the bigger families you get. I think it's even better because you can either do, like I said, you can do two quick service ones or you can do a quick service and a table service. It's, it's just convenient because it's all paid for. Children three to 12 are a smaller price too. So if you have a bunch of uh, kids under 12 and children under three, I think three and under actually are free. They can eat off of an adult's plate. So the dining plan for me is worth it just because it's paid for before you go. And again, if you have a lot of really, really picky kids that are only going to eat chicken nuggets the entire week, it's not necessarily worth it. But the negative part of it is that you have to, if one person does the dining plan, everybody has to do the dining plan on your reservation. So it's it's not pick and choose. It's all or none. Uh, we are AP holders, so it usually doesn't work out for us to get the plan. I'm an AP holder as well, and I still get the plan. It just it's just I prefer the convenience and the prepay. Uh, I've been lacking the TikTok game. I think you guys need to add coming to Tennessee to a day for your plans, Christy. Christy, are you from Tennessee? I take it. Um, three to nine, Steve's world. Oh, three to nine is the children's age. So, sorry, not three to 12, three to nine is what Disney considers a child for pricing purposes. Dining plan, convenient. Yes, worth it. Go check out our video to find out. Again, there are multiple ver uh, opinions of whether it's worth it or not. Don't just take my opinion. Like Walt said, go check out their video. It makes a difference depending on how you eat and what you like to eat, whether it's worth it. Me, I like steak. So if I eat a $55 steak at every meal and I'm only paying 70 something bucks a night, I'm going to, you get two snacks, a quick service and a, a drink and a dessert still with your dinner. I'm easily, I, I'm, I'm usually spending about 115 to $120 a day in food. It's not what I'm actually spending. It's what comes off my dining plan, and I'm only actually spending $70. So for me, I save money, and it's convenient, and it's paid ahead of time. Hey, Myers in the Mouse, thank you so much for being here. No worries that you're late. I appreciate you guys even stopping by at all. Uh, Steve is correct. It can be worth it if you use right. Yeah. So and it, it just it depends on how it is for you. Um, yes, it, it is different if you're locals, D, for sure. It, it, it definitely matters if you're locals. Okay. So that is the, oh, the desserts for the Kona Cafe. They do have the key lime, the tiramisu, coconut tapioca, the s'mores, banana trifle, and cheesecake. So those are all your dessert cups. All right, next up is probably my favorite restaurant on all of Disney property. Easily my favorite restaurant on all of Disney property. This one takes two credit services. It is in Can uh, Canada. It is in Cargo's home uh, country of Canada, and that is the Le Cellier Steakhouse. This steakhouse is the best steakhouse, not only that I've ever been to at Disney World, this is the best steakhouse I've ever been to, period. Um, I've been to KW Cools, which was pretty close to being comparable, but this, nothing compares to, for me to Le Cellier Steakhouse. The, uh, the brilliance of the food, the artistic decor of it, the way they do it, it's just absolutely stunning. Kind of give you an idea how it is. They have a ribeye. They have a filet mignon, which is $59. They have a steak and I can never say this. Is it fritas? I, I never met, pronounced that right. They have a barbecue half chicken. They have Asian dumplings, which I'm not going to, again, waste my credits on because that's only $33. They have a seared George's bank scallops, a pan seared red snapper, and something for two. I'm not, <laughs> it's a Chateau Briand for two, I think it is. 
Uh, can you do, can you use your dining plan on, uh, yes. So you can actually use your dining plan for other people. Um, when you check in, you get X amount of credits and you tell them you're on the dining plan. So like with my family, you only need one person's wristband. So when my family all goes, we get X amount of credits to go. So when they come by, they only scan my band. So they scan my band. They, uh, when I'm done, they come back and say, well, do you want to use your credit services? You say yes. And you apply them to them. So you can use them, but again, you only get, you get one per night that you're there. You can use them all in the first day. You can, you, you can save them up to the last day. Um, but they, they do work. And something else of note, if you're staying at one of the resorts that has, especially all stars, pop century, those, they have a pizza place that they make their own pizza in one of the parts of the things, the, uh, food courts, two quick service meals will get you a pizza. So if you're going with like four people, and you want to gain an extra quick service meal down the road or for breakfast or something, if you pick two nights to do pizza for four people, you can use two quick service one night, two quick service another night, and then you just picked up a whole round of another quick service meal for um, for the trip. Uh, let's see. Uh, D. Hazel, is D here? If D. Hazel is here, hey, D, I missed you. I'm sorry. Nor Cooking Channel, thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's see here. Jeff with Dole Whip. Dad, thank you so much for being here, buddy. I appreciate you. I love the dining. Yes, I love the dining plan too. Plus the dining plan is a good way. Like Christy said, you can use two credit services for a signature dining meal like Lake Cellier. So instead of paying out of pocket for this or Cinderella's Castle, if you want to do that experience, still only two credit services. So you don't have to worry about footing the big bill for that. You just use two credit services. And if you use your dining plan the right way, I skip the day I get there, I don't use a, a meal. I'll pay for the first meal and I go to quick service, spend 15 bucks and get a, a something at a sandwich or something. Um, th then you pick up an extra quick service meal. Then the day that you're going to lay Cellier, one other day you choose not to, like on my day that I'm going to the Mickey's Hall, uh, not so scary Halloween party. I'll use two quick service meals that day and take the extra one that I gained the dining plan and use it for lay Cellier for two services. So it's a game to play, but it's 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 worth it if you can do it right. Um, my chat, I know, is getting ready to jump huge because I've been way behind. But here we go. There it goes. So I missed you guys. I'm sorry. Um, you have 203. So 203 will be free. Keep that in mind when you go. Uh, thank you so much, Chef. I appreciate it, buddy. Okay. Um, you're going to Disney World in a couple weeks. That's awesome, Michael. I still got uh, I got 79 days. 79 more days, 19 days. I get to do my, um, I, uh, get to do my, uh, food plan or my, uh, fast passes. Charlie, I gained 200 pounds in a week. So Charlie, I ate last time we went, um, I'm a big dude, which I'm starting to, I'm getting in better shape. So that's another story. But, um, I, I broke my ankle, put on 80 pounds a few years ago. We went to Disney world and we ate nothing but buffets, nothing but steaks. I lost two pounds at Disney world from all the walking we do. From the time I left, I met, I weighed myself before we left, but I weighed myself when we got back. I lost two pounds at Disney World. So, and we ate like kings. So, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. Oh, well, thank, uh, thank you now. I have to go. Thank you so much, Lisa. I appreciate you so much. Um, thank you so much for being here. Uh, you, you're just awesome. Uh, let's see here. And it jumped again, guys. Sorry. 18 more days for Charlie and Stacy. I'm jealous. Four for Shep. Shep has four and 85. He's on a double countdown. That's awesome. Hey, Kay, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you for coming by. Uh, who else is here? You clearly need more churros in your life. So, yes, I need churros. Um, I've never, don't hate me, I've never had a Disney churro. That will change in August. I'm going to try every churro they have, I think. I swear I eat little at Disney. I'm so busy. Yes, you are having fun, but I do eat. I'm not going to lie to you. I eat, and I eat very well at Disney World. It's one of the reasons why I do the dining plan. Uh, yeah, $75.49 for an adult for the regular dining plan, and it's $52 something for the quick service one. So the, the, what, the difference between the two is $23 will get you a sit-down meal and, as opposed to two quick service meals. So, um, But again, so $75, like Walt said, per night. When I go to... Kona, I'm going to have a $59 steak and a drink is probably three or four bucks. The dessert's five or six bucks. I've spent 70 bucks in that one meal. Plus you get two snacks. Plus I still have a quick service meal 
easily going to spend $120 that day and I'm only paying $75 for it. So just depends on how you do it. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. You just reminded me that I need to make more for my trip and mention place I forgot about. Oh, thanks, Lisa. So I'm glad, <laughs> glad I can remind you. The only churros you need are the ones in Mexico. Uh, I assume the uh, they are um, authentic, if that's true. Yes, Steve, but you have to do that every night to make your money back. Not necessarily. I mean, well, if I'm fifty dollars ahead on one night, I don't have to do that every single night. But the average, if you if you do an average, the average meal that I the average meal is going to be about thirty five dollars across the restaurants that I eat. Not necessarily steaks, just just necessarily just thirty five dollars. You're going to get thirty five dollars. You're going to spend five dollars on a drink. If you get alcohol, which you get an alcoholic beverage, um, it's going to be nine dollars. So, but let's use conservative, say five. That's forty dollars. The dessert is usually six to seven dollars. So you're going to spend forty-seven to forty-eight dollars for dinner. You're going to spend an average of twenty dollars for um, lunch because you also are going to get a dessert and a drink and everything else. Well, so it, ran, it ranges about twenty to twenty-two dollars for me. Just on the average, that puts you right at your cost of about seventy-three dollars, and it costs seventy-five dollars. The that plus you get two snacks, so the snacks range anywhere from four to eight dollars. You add them together on an average, anybody average would get their money back. The difference is people that don't want to eat, um, that want to drink water and not get drinks, and those people that don't want desserts. That's where, if you don't do those things, it becomes a whole lot cheaper to not do the dining plan. Then it's all a matter of whether or not you want it for convenience. For me, like I said, the average is. Is about for me for at all the restaurants I eat at the average is about eighty four to eighty five dollars. It's usually you get ten dollars more stuff. But if you don't want snacks and you don't want drinks and you don't want dessert, then no, it's not going to be worth it for you to do. Except for the fact that it's paid ahead of time and you don't have to worry about anything. But trust me, when you pay for it and you have the dining plan, then you're going to get those. You're going to get those extra things. Okay, thanks, Rob. I appreciate that, buddy. Um, okay. So that's Le Cellier, incredible, uh, incredible place where I will be eating lots and lots. Oh, the desserts at Le Cellier were even, even better. They come out with these really uh, artistic desserts and chocolates and everything. But they have, I don't even know where they're at on here. They're on here somewhere. I apparently have passed them, entrees and desserts. So they have a maple creme brulee, which is out of this world. If you like maple anything, it's it's incredible. They have a warm pecan brown butter tart, a chocolate maple Yukon bar, strawberry cheesecake, and a chocolate mousse maple leaf. Cargo is the queen of candy. She's from Canada. They do it right in Canada. All right, next up is one that Walt mentioned earlier. Will be the I am running behind. I still got a few leos. So we're gonna go through these kind of quick. Uh, the Liberty Tree Tavern. I will be eating at. Um, never been there either. So hopefully, Walt, that is a good one upon your recommendation. We were too full to get dessert like Cellier. No dining plan last time. We went. Yeah, so and that's another thing. If you're getting full, excuse me, and you're not on the dining plan, you won't eat dessert. But um, they're good to take home or back to the room if you are on the dining plan and eat later. Okay, so Liberty Tree is awesome. He says, so Liberty Tree is uh, the same kind of thing. It comes out on a platter, and it's all you care to eat, and then you ask for more what you want. The platter takes... Roasted turkey breast, pot roast, oven roasted pork and mashed potatoes, seasonal vegetables, herb stuffing, and house made macaroni and salad. Their desserts are warm banana cake, apple fritters, and ooey gooey toffee cake. So that's another one I've never been to that we are going to eat at. Liberty Tree has a, a great allergy menu too. Uh, wait a minute. Liberty Tree is great. Allergy menu is a little off. Okay. So if you have allergies, apparently don't. You, Liberty Tree may not be your best option. Love the Liberty Tree, like Thanksgiving on steroids. Actually, I've, I've heard it was like Thanksgiving, and I love Thanksgiving dinner, so that's one of the reasons why I decided to try it. Uh, we'll save that one for last. Next up, I am eating at Trails End Restaurant, which is also another buffet and family-style type uh, thing. I've never been to Trails End, so this will be new for me. There's a mouse. Oh, thanks so much, Myers and Mouse. I appreciate you guys. Um well, I believe you guys eat at Trails Inn because it's over by Fort Wilderness, but uh, I've never been there. It's another buffet offering with seasonal vegetables, smoked pork ribs, fried chicken, assorted pastas and sauces, hand-carved roasted meats, 
uh, fresh catch of the day, cheese pizza, soups, chilies, shrimp, all you can eat, peel and eat shrimp. They have a Sunday bar, a red velvet cake, and handmade cobblers and macaroni and cheese. Never had trails. I'm eating there too. I've never had trails end either, Walt. So uh, it says they're allergy friendly offerings. It says allergen guides are available upon request. Trails End is great. It's the same food they do. Oh, for the Hoop to Do review. I've heard about that, Jim. So um, that's going to be good. That's going to be awesome. Okay. One of the last ones, this is a restaurant I have been to, and I'm actually eating with some people here. I'm going to be meeting Corey Fiasco and Haley, and I am going to Via Napoli Ristorante Pizzeria. Um, my family went there on Corey's, um, on Corey's recommendation again. It was the best pizza I've ever had. And I know that's people don't agree always, but this this was the best pizza I had ever had. They import the water to make their dough. If that tells you what kind of pizza it is, and they have these three massive brick oven, brick fire oven pizzas. I'm gonna buy your Ziploc, you Ziploc bags to smuggle me cornbread. <laughs> All right, cargo. I actually believe it or not, guys. One of these trips will go over my packing list. I take Tupperware with me. Tupperware, just round little Tupperware dishes. That all stack inside of each other. They cost like a dollar for eight of them, um, and we take I take them, take a pack of them, and that way I can keep one in my in my bag so that whatever I can't finish, I throw in the Tupperware. Take and that way I can stay in my backpack while I'm going until I get back. So uh, I take Tupperware. We'll go over that in another video. But the restaurant or Via Napoli is one of the best places on property for me to eat. They have food, uh, just an incredible amounts of pizzas. I'm not even gonna go through them. It's six pages of pizzas and other things. So, and then they have tiramisu, uh, sorbetto, uh, what else they have? The cannolis. They just got all kinds of stuff. That's being Napoli. The pizza window at the boardwalk. I know that's not, actually, well, I think that's a, correct me if I'm wrong. That's a quick service meal that I actually plan on trying this time. I'm going to spend some time on the boardwalk. So, um, that, uh, that's a place I think I might try Eric mouse. Thank you so much for being here, buddy. I appreciate you guys. Again, if I missed you coming in, I apologize. We're wrapping up real quick, but the last restaurant that I have booked right now, of course, is our big dinner with uh, the Disney Dan put together with Walt. Melissa will be there. I think Donna and Samantha will be there. And I can't remember if a couple of the people or not. And that's the um, galaxy's edge Eve. We are eating at Sanaa. Um, I'm going to have to eat enough that I can smuggle some over to Shep and uh, zip and Dave for standing in line. But uh, the, all I keep hearing about is this bread service. It's an Indian style bread service. You get a choice of five breads with all nine accompaniments. And here are your, I don't know if these are, these are, must be all the dipping sauces. Traditional naan, garlic, ginger, naan. If naan is not the correct, it's N-A-A-N. I'm going to call it naan. Um, spice naan, onion kulcha, kulcha, or paneer paratha. I'm guessing those are the breads, Okay. So then your accompaniments are cucumber, reta, roasted <laughs> roasted red pepper hummus, mango chutney. I will love that one. Tomato date jam, tamarind chutney, coriander chutney, garlic pickle. Garlic pickle. Oh, my God. Red chili sambal or spicy jalapeno lime pickle. <laughs> so uh, there's going to be some faces made when we try those, but we will do it. We'll cost you around 1600 for five days. Um, yes, it, it, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but like I say, it's depending on how you want to eat. Since you pay for it ahead of time, Sawyer, so in the middle, if you plan it out ahead of time and you pay for it ahead of time, then you don't have to worry about the money for it when you're down there and you can eat better. Again, it's, it's whether or not you want to budget the way you eat down there and you don't want to eat desserts, you don't want to eat drinks, or if you don't care and you want to experience all that, do it ahead of time. And then you can go eat what basically whatever you want. And you can get a lot of the character meals and stuff like that too included. So Sanaa though, um, they have what looks to be an incredible grilled New York strip, which I would probably get. They also have fragrant duck. Uh, this is also uh, an African inspired cuisine over at uh, one of the animal kingdom lodges. This Kandani village, I believe it is. I think is it where it's at. So, um, but they have some lamb and they have some other things too. And then of course for desserts, they have chocolate mousse, some kind of caramel. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. It's um, something with bananas and caramel, uh, spicy trade candy bar, something called Kier. 
Kenyan coffee and Saradura, which is butterscotch pudding. So those are my dining plans. Again, we have two more we have to pick. So uh, if anybody's got any suggestions in the coming days, coming weeks, let me know. Uh, if you aren't a foodie, it's not for you. But if you are, it's amazing. I agree, Christy. The dining plan, 100%, is what it's another one of those things of what you want to make of it. You can eat a heck of a lot cheaper at Disney World if you don't do the dining plan. But you have to be – you can't eat the way you do on the dining plan. So you have to budget it. You also have to take your food with you. Um, so, I mean, your money with you. So, and again, if you don't want desserts, you don't want drinks, you don't want all that stuff, then maybe not the dining plan may not be for you. If you like that stuff, and if you like to eat $59 steaks like I do, um, I save a lot of money. And um, I see Amanda, yes, I have been to the sci fi dinner diner. Um, the experience is something I would say everybody needs to experience at least once. We went several years ago, but the food wasn't that good for us. Um, at the time. I don't know if it's better now. Uh, Steve. Yes. So mouse talk. That's one of the ones that I was going to add after I watched Corey's um, Corey meets world. He had bacon hanging from clothespins and it looked amazing. And I want some of that so bad. I'm going to try to get into the Edison is my, I'm going to save one for the fly with cargo. And then uh, I'm going to try to book the Edison as my other one. It just, it looks really good, but I do see you guys put in there. Teppan Ito as well. I've never been to a uh, hibachi style. Uh, but I've seen it and it looks like a lot of fun. So I assume the food is pretty good as well. So that, that may be another option as well. Um, we've gotten free. Di oh yeah. And Sawyer, and it'll, that's another thing too. If you do it right every year and it seems to be getting, it seems to be getting smaller and smaller, but like this year it's from August to the beginning of October. And then again, I think maybe even in November, they might've gotten rid of November this year, but if you book during those months, if you stay at the all-star sports, you get, or I'm sorry, the all-star uh, value resorts, all-star sports mu music or movies or pop century, you get free quick service dining, which is 52 something a night. You can upgrade for the difference of $21 a night. That's what I did this trip. Cause I'm staying at the all-stars. Um, so you get free dining. If you go during those months, if you stay at a moderate resort, you get the free dining plan, which is, the uh, quick service and a table service every day. So if you do it during the right months and you book it at the right time, you can get free dining to your plan. So that makes it even a whole lot more uh, enticing if you do it for, if you get it for free. Thank you so much, Mouse Talk. I appreciate it. So uh, they went from September this year, no October or, okay. So there are, they took away November this year. So we stay at Shades of Green. So Shades of Green, is that the, is that, uh, what, what are those called? The um, the higher end ones? Is, is Shades of Green a higher end? If it is, oh, if you're doing DVC, you can't get the free dining plan. So that is unfortunate if that's where you're staying. But it's still, again, something to look for, look into for, for pricing and, and stuff like that. So, all right, guys. So, that is where we're eating. Uh, we've got a few different other options that we're going to get into. We'll get into it as we get going uh, closer to the trip. We'll also be going over a packing list and other things. I just kind of want it golden oaks for the rich people. That's where I want to live one day. Shades of green is for military. Okay, awesome. I don't know how the dining plan works over there, if there is a dining plan, uh, the free dining plan. I assume there's not, but there may be. Uh, just call. when uh, They always open it around, uh, I believe it's around... January-ish for the this year, maybe even December. So just keep an eye out for it. They post it everywhere, and then just then just look to see if you can book it. Um, so I want to be lazy today, guys. Didn't want to prepare a whole lot. Just want to talk about food. So I love food, and it's something that everybody can get into. You can give each other ideas of what there is. So I appreciate you all so much for coming out. Quick again, that uh, please go check out the live place, Dean Dreamers Empire www.thelifeplace.com. He hosts the show as well as 40 something other family friendly uh, channels throughout the week. Rose and crown is amazing. I don't think I've ever eaten there either. So I'll have to try that out as well. Uh, talk to you soon. Okay, Michael. Thank you. Um, also check out my partner channel, mouse talk. They go live every Tuesday and Thursday at eight o'clock. Walt goes by himself on Tuesdays. Walt and Melissa are together on Thursdays. And then Walt and I do a sports night show with Disney 
on Saturdays at 8 o'clock. Thank you, Brandy and Dave. Or Dave. <laughs> I'll read your name, Brandy and Dave. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Um, also, check out my other partner channel, Rob Fuzz. He goes live usually on Fridays around 4.30, one to either with Frankie Friday or Pub Talk. Six away is all Rob is from 1,000 or uh, 1,900. Please, let's get him there. Also, let's get Mouse Talk to 1,500. He's 76 away or was to so we can get him on Tower of Terror in August, which he is definitely afraid of. Uh, check out my power channels, the Shep family, Zippity Doo Dad, and Brandy and Dave. The three of us, the three of them plus me, are collaborating on a new adventure. We started last week for, um, we talked about Galaxy's Edge. This week at Wednesday at 9.30, it'll be on Zippity Doo Dad's channel. We'll be talking about all things boardwalks. Please don't miss that. We'll be talking about all the, the uh, dining and, and stores on boardwalk. Uh, but please come check us out. It's going to be Wednesday at 9.30, and it'll rotate between the four of us. And uh, we don't even have a name for it. It's basically, we call it whatever this is for now. So, guys, I hope you had fun. I appreciate all the kind comments. Uh, appreciate you all for being here. We both, we're both hanging out listening. To the, oh, thanks, guys. Appreciate both of you being here. Uh, planning dining for next month. Yes, you guys are going next month. Chef's going in four days. Hashtag Walt Tower Terror. Let's get him there. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, I cannot do this without you. And again, I apologize for being lazy the last week. It's been rough. I the, Sometimes you just need to step back and take a break without taking a full break to recuperate. I'm going to be back into it this week, watching people's videos and supporting and people. And I'll get out that thousand subscriber video. So guys, thank you. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate that. Appreciate all the kind words. Thank you, AJC Magic. Guys, you all are incredible people. Please go check out Rosa part of Rosa's world. If somebody would please put her link in there real quick, everybody just go over there and say hi to Rosa real quick. I would appreciate it. Captain Akron, thank you so much for being here, buddy. Appreciate it. Yes. Me, Shep, Patrick from Zippity Doodad and David from Brandy and Dave for whatever this is on Wednesday night. It'll be on Zippity Doodad's channel this week at nine 30. Please don't miss it. It is a lot of fun. Um, guys, again, thank you all for all the love and support. I cannot do this without you. Everybody go have fun and enjoy the rest of your week. And if you have anything that you want to know from me, or if anybody wants to know how I do this nice, pretty little book here that I put together with all my dining reservations and pictures and menus, please hit me up on Instagram or Twitter, and I will let you know. Jelly rolls. <laughs> that will be a topic, I'm sure, on Wednesday. So, guys, again, thank you so much, everybody. Have a fantastic night, and we will see you next time, guys. Thank you. Good night.